I will share with you the concept of Statistical Process Control or SPC chart, which will enhance your understanding on SPC without confusing you with the calculation of control limits in this video. I have conducted many interviews to higher quality engineers and managers and I find that a lot of people do not really understand the purpose of Statistical Process Control or SPC and this is made worse when a lot of reference material included the many purpose and many functions of the SPC chart. Calculation is not that important compared to understand the concept of the SPC chart as most of the calculations are generated by statistical software. SPC chart only has one single function, which is very powerful. By the end of this video, you will be able to explain the statistical process control or SPC and understand the SPC chart's fundamental well Manufacturing process will not be able to tell you that, hey, I'm not well and will produce bad part. Statistical process control is an important process monitoring tool which will represent the voice of a process. It will give you the foresight onto the manufacturing process if there is a potential changes using a small sample size at regular time interval. This will trigger for an investigation if there's changes which will cause problem and action can be taken to fix the problem early and prevent the line to continue producing defect parts which will eventually end up at the customer's site. It's time for us to look at what Statistical Process Control or SPC is all about. SPC is a system that monitors the stability of the process, which means that it will let us know whether what the process is stable or it is under a special cost influences. So in order to do SPC, we will need to plot a control chart with control limits that is derived from the distribution of the process measurements. And this control limit will help us to distinguish the common and the special causes. SPC charts shows the presence of common cause and special cause variations. A process output is considered as stable if there is only a common cause variations presence which is inherent to the process. And we will need to check and monitor the process, identify the special cause, and implement the corrective actions using a SPC control methods. Here we can see that this is a run chart of our measurement data and we know that there are control limits that is being put in here, upper and lower control limit, and here is the center line. So from here, you will definitely can spot some abnormality of this chart. Anything that is out control is considered as under a special cause influences and also there are certain trends or patterns to indicate the special cause influences in the statistical 
process control chart. Let's take a closer look at the control chart and its elements. From the last slides, we already know that the control chart derives from a run chart of a process measurements or a data set here. Here in a control chart, we will have the, measure, the measurement value in the y-axis and the data that is plotted on the time axis means that we are monitoring the trend of the measurement value against the time, how it performed during the time of the process itself. We will need to calculate the upper control limit, the average, this, which forms the center line, with, and the lower control limit. These are actually measurement of variability, but with slight tweak to adjust to the formulation or to the way the control chart the sample size itself. Do enroll in my course on Process Insights through SPC at Udemy, an affordable course provider. This course is for quality engineers, supplier quality engineers, or process engineers, where you will learn to implement statistical process control SPC at critical process point audit suppliers SPC system for effectiveness and also the application of SPC in Industrial Revolution 4.0 manufacturing environment. It comes with eight templates in Excel format of different types of SPC chart, which also include the most important X bar R chart and suppliers audit checklist. Do click on the link below to understand more about the course and you can also reach out to me through LinkedIn per the link provided for a special rate. By now, you will have understand that SPC is a communication tool for the process to tell you that the process is unwell, it is under special cost variations through the monitoring of the critical process parameter. And effective SPC charts will be able to tell you the presence of special costs in the process or a problem which need fixing immediately. It does not fix problem or improve a process as many reference material has written. If you have learned something from today's video, do give me a like and subscribe to my channel to enhance your skills in quality engineering.